I spent 100 days surviving the Highlands Cave in Ark, raiding, defending, and fighting with my tribe mate AC to dominate the cluster and be the last tribe standing. Claiming the Highlands Cave was much easier than first anticipated. We kind of just walked in, threw a few foundations down, and uh, yeah, that was about it. Wasn't too difficult at all, and that honestly should have been a sign of things to come, because at the time we hadn't realised just how difficult it would be to hold on to this cave. And yeah, we definitely went through it a couple of times on this 100 days video. Uh, but that's me looking a little bit too far into the future. For now, let me take you through the details of this 100 days survival challenge. In Ark, one day is basically equal to one hour of real life time. So essentially, AC and I played 100 hours of Ark for the content of this video, which is roughly around 4-5 to five days. It wasn't without its challenges, and I won't lie, we were tested mentally, and our cave absolutely went through it. I swear we were getting fobbed every other minute, but it led to some pretty awesome PvP, and I'm really glad I can make this video for you guys. So if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. We're going for 100,000 subscribers, so any help towards that would be amazingly appreciated. And uh, yeah, massive shout out to Ace for driving up with me as well. His channel will be linked in the description. Once we'd claimed the cave, we started getting the basics going and began farming for all of the essential resources we were going to need. Now the thing is, living in the Highlands is always quite dangerous, especially the Highlands Cave, probably one of the most popular base locations in all of Ark, so yeah, I don't think Ace and I are getting any sleep tonight, or the next day probably, we're going to have to grind it out to make sure we're in a pretty good position when we log off. We're going to be covering each other's offline timers as well, just to make sure we've got a little bit more safety. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we've got some woolly rhinos at the entrances, looking like security guards at a nightclub, not letting anyone in that's going to mess us around. <laughs> We've got a zero tolerance policy for that. We've had a few setbacks today trying to take this cave, um, so yeah, this is really our first major win. I think Ace is going to get some pearls, I just tamed an angler, uh, so I think I'm going to focus metal for the time being, because yeah, we're really just waiting on electronics for more turrets. Once we get four or five on that entrance, I'll feel a little bit more safe. Also, just in case you didn't know, there are custom caves on the servers I'm playing on. I'll leave a link to join them in the description in case you're curious. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the many custom cave edits. As you can see, we've got this wall of mannequins here, and they're invincible, so nobody can break through this, and I don't think anybody can shoot through it either. So the entrance is pretty small, making the Highlands Cave a little bit better than it once was, and there's a lot of caves on these maps that have also got similar changes. So I definitely recommend playing the cluster, my servers are the same, and I'll leave a link to join those down below as well. Uh, but yeah, turret number 2 is down, I'm most likely going to go and grind some metal, I feel a little bit safer now that I've got that one down. But I'm going to keep it pretty close to base, I think, just in case somebody does try and run up on us. Very likely, in the climate of the Highlands. There are just people everywhere. Also, just wanted to mention, Vitality Joys is wiping this weekend, and we're going to be donating 100% of the profits to a children's research hospital in America. There's also a $1,000 cluster alpha prize, and all of the information surrounding the wipe can be found in the Discord links below. A massive shout out to Prodigy for organising the charity event, and I can't wait to see you guys there for Wipe. I'll be making a pretty decent series, hopefully if all goes to plan. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys there on Wipe Day. I've got no idea what this guy is doing, he's kind of just hanging around the base. Um, I'm pretty sure he lives in the Artifact Cave, right above where we live, so we might have to give that a bit of a visit and uh, take it out if he continues this. Alright, let's see how much pearls I got here. Ooh, let's have a look. It's a decent amount of pearls. <laughs> Should set us up for a little while. Okay. Yeah. There's the oil. Mm, 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 Alright, mm, nice. Mm. So we're set for oil, pearls, and... Poly. Poly. Oil, pearls, poly, done. I think we just need to keep one person in the base to defend, keep yeah. these two turrets, and then just get an Indie Forge and a chem Yeah, bench. Indie Forge, chem bench. And then we can work on more turrets. Alright lads, so Ace is currently getting some Magmasaur eggs, which means it's my responsibility to get some Wyvern eggs. Honestly, not sure what job I prefer, I think getting the Wyvern eggs will be a little bit easier, um, but they are looking pretty dangerous at the moment. Some people in chat have basically said that there's some turrets going around in there, so we're just going to have to be a bit careful. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm not too fussy on Wyvern type or level, really. It's early game, so I'm not going to complain too much at whatever we get. Oh, I'm not getting that. Jeez. I'm not risking my life over a level 25. <laughs> 55. Uh... Yeah, I'm not getting that either. Uh, somebody must have come through here not long ago and just stolen them from me. Is what it is, unfortunately. Level 90. Okay, that's not bad. Definitely going to take that. Right, I'm on the run right now. <laughs> Fleeing for my life. Oh, I think I found those turrets that they were talking about. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. I'll check the Wyvern Trench in about an hour or two, and hopefully we get some more then. They're honestly just for base defense in this early game stage. Level 20 Magma Salt goes so hard. Alright, I'm making up electronics right now with our sweet precious metal. The electronics that we ended up making went straight into a C4 detonator, which we used to raid Allmate's base living above us in the artifact cave. We headed there straight after crafting it, and we got to raiding. What is going on? What is he like Mate, it right now? you've got to come in here right now and check this out, because I'm just, I'm absolutely flummoxed as to what is... Flummoxed? Yeah, the, something absolutely strange is happening here. I'm covered. There's this weird wall in front of their turret tower, for some reason. Well, I didn't see this when I was scouting it the first time, and like, behind it is the wall. The hell? Yeah, that's <laughs> a lot of heavies. That's what I was saying. Do you want to place a C4 and just see what happens? Uh, Alright, let's just get out of the turret range because I don't know what that's going to blow. Uh, nothing to lose. Oh, maybe it is 1x. Oh, oh, that's like shooting me through a wall. Is it? Oh, no. oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh caught that one. Oh, uh, maybe I can hit like a, a god shot with like a flame arrow from like back here. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to get an angry. <laughs> yeah, I cannot speak today, I swear. Anyway, yeah, I think we should be able to get an angle on that, Jenny, for sure. 100%. It's so exposed. And it's the only thing powering everything. Hopefully no one finds my body outside, because it's kind of stacked. Oh, it's shooting someone. Uh oh. Mm, it's looking like there's nothing on my body, is there? Wherever he is, he's... Oh, I see him, he's up top. I grappled him into the turret, surely. I sacrificed my life for Pakistan! Yeah, <laughs> you got him! <laughs> How did that work, man? <laughs> oh, man, I'm just a gate. Oh, that's so funny. Ah, oh, eating the wall. Oh, you hit the fabricator. Yeah, keep going there, keep going there. Might need a little bit to the left. You're so close. Yeah, you got it. It's down, it's down. It's down. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, let me shotgun these bad boys. Yeah. Oh, oh, watch out. You just want to start taking them when we go throw it back at the base. Uh, oh, oh my God, look at that fabricator. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Nice. I've just made it out somehow. I wouldn't go near there. Check these eggs. Oh, bloodstock eggs. Oh, nice. There's a loadout mannequin back here as well. Yeah. Anything on there? Oh, rhinos. Oh. Oh, mantises and shotgun the otter. <laughs> oh, man. I was just about to grab that as well. <laughs> Unbelievable. 10k carton. Oh, this fabricator is nice. 400 gas. Oh, look at that gunpowder as well on that chem bench. Oh, that's so that's nice. nice. They're Wait, like, I see a guy. I see oh, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Depot, actually. Yeah, that's Depot. I'm going to quickly Depot and then we're fighting. Oh, he's out. Oh, mate, this tool. Just get in. Get in, get in. Yeah. <laughs> we're good, we're good. I yeah, that was actually so fat. Six we need to go back. Gone. Yeah. Yeah. Like right now. You only need one C4. We're gonna need more for the gonna... turrets. Things were going quite well while we were looting, but little did we know we were about to get our absolute shit rocked as we left the cave, and uh, yeah, it was unfortunate. I am confident we got everything from here. Yeah. Let's go depot. 
<laughs> oh, I knew it. I knew it would happen. He's absolutely ruined it, though. He thinks he's slick. He thinks he's slick. Oh, one helmet uh, just broke. I might actually just Sorry, go around. Sorry, I win. Whoa. I think that guy might be cheating. I don't know what killed me. There goes all the metal. Uh, yeah, these guys are definitely cheating. Run, run him up. I'm on the May wing, but your stuff is going. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, he's cheating. 100% yeah. that's cheating. Uh, Man, cheaters just absolutely ruined this game. At least we depoted that stuff at the start. Yeah, I mean, we didn't really lose. We lost metal, but surely we can get an indie forge here. Wait, we got 5,000 metal out. So. Yeah. I, we got that in the first depot. Oh, we got heaps of metal. We can make a couple of indies. Alright, so unfortunately we got aimbotted into the next century. It's really obvious to tell if you hadn't figured it out already. He pretty much only hit our heads and that's a telltale sign that somebody is using aimbot. It sucks so bad and that behavior is just, it's honestly disgusting that people have to cheat in this game. But we're not too salty about it, we didn't really end up losing too much at the end of the day. The metal is a bit of a pain, and of course the ARB, uh, but you come across cheaters all the time in ARC, and there's not really much that either of us can do about it. Oh, what are you doing now, man? <laughs> uh, he's level 20. He's no harm to the base, uh, but yeah, as I was saying, can't do much about cheaters. The best thing we can do is play as fair as we can, and just hope that you know we don't come across too many of them while we're playing. Uh, but yeah, it definitely does suck. We've reported the guy, and the admins are going to take some action, so that's really all we can do. And if you guys find yourself in a similar situation, I definitely recommend that you do the same thing. Report it to the admins of the servers with whatever proof you can and just hope that, you know, it's enough to get them removed from the server. It certainly is frustrating, but I've just got too much stuff to do to focus on it right now. There's just quite a lot of work that we need to get done and I'm sure we'll get there. We're probably not going to go to sleep at the same time either. We're going to try and cycle our offline timers uh, just so nobody's like not at the base at any given time. Covering offline timers is definitely the best way to not get raided. <laughs> it is very difficult with only two people, uh, but we're going to give it our best bet. I think Ace is going to work on the defenses, and I'm going to spend a bit more time on the offensive type of things. Uh, but at the minute, I'm just getting some wood so you can start crafting up the base. Because it's 6x, it doesn't really matter what we build the internal structures out of. So we can use stone, wood, metal, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. And yeah, we've certainly got quite a bit to do before Stegos get unbanned. And that is coming up quite soon, which is a bit scary. I swear, I absolutely hate the Lunar Biome. There's just nothing to like about it. I'm over here trying to tame some Stegos, and I just feel like everything is taming me. Um, it's so annoying. <laughs> I absolutely hate this place. I'm never coming back here again, I swear. Once I'd tamed a few Stegos, AC and I decided to do a metal run with the Grown Magmasaur, and we decided to do it on Ragnarok just because it's a little bit stress-free compared to some place like Aberration. And uh, yeah, we were getting a decent amount of metal from these little islands. Ace was planning on going to sleep soon, so I began writing up a list of things I wanted to tame, and I planned on getting them done that night. Okay, day one is well and truly coming to a close right now. Ace has officially gone to sleep, so it's just me manning the fort at the moment. We've had quite a few raid attempts, um, people have been trying to hit us for the past few hours. Ace isn't too optimistic about the future of the base, but I'm not going to give it up. <laughs> We're coming up to almost 24 hours since I last slept, and uh, yeah, I'm still going strong, covering another offline timer, just how ARC is these days. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I've been on the Stego grind, and the highest level I can find at the moment is 6k HP into health. It's not amazing, I was hoping for something, you know, a little bit higher, maybe in the 7s. Uh, but it's it's day 1, so I can't really complain too much. I can't even use them at the moment, because uh, Stego Saddle BP is banned day 1. I just wanted to start breeding them up early so we could use them in raids. So I think what I'm going to do next is head out and tame a bunch of low level females, just so we can get this male stat on as many uh, Stegos as we can. Because it looks like these Stegos are going to come out to around 20,000 HP, which isn't too bad. But there's definitely going to be better out there, which I'm hopefully going to be able to raid for. So uh, yeah, time to tame some low-level Stegos. Just going to grab one of these Maywings. A little bit later on in the night, we started getting some more frequent visitors, some more people kept checking out the Highlands Cave. 
potentially for a raid target or maybe they were just wondering if they wanted to take it themselves. We did get a pretty serious fob at around, I think, 1 to... It might have been like 2 a.m. And I'm just going to voice over what happened because my voice in that recording is so dead. <laughs> I'm just going to play a little clip for you now. <sighs> I think someone's fobbing us. I'm just going to have to do my best to defend it. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, anyway, I sounded pretty dead and I don't want to put you guys through that recording. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to narrate what happened. They set up a tech fob outside, transmitter and everything and they actually threw a rock golem into the base. Don't know why I started shooting it with the Fabby Sniper, but for some reason it glitched out and it sort of disappeared. So the guy that was trying to raid us ended up dying and he had the fattest kit on him, I'm not even lying. Literally that man had like so much raiding stuff on him and I deposited it straight away. He decided to leave pretty quickly after that and I decided to run the tower he'd left outside just so I could leave the base. Didn't take me too long, but yeah, I was so tired by this point. And I think after this, I eventually caved in and went to sleep. Luckily, Ace woke up pretty quickly, so we managed to trade off the offline timers pretty well. Uh, but yeah, I think I played like 30-something hours of Ark that day, and I don't recommend it. <laughs> Not a good idea. Alright guys, it's the next day. I've had about 4 hours of sleep, so I'm feeling pretty good. Ready to get straight back on the grind. I'm all about that Ark life, you know how it is. <laughs> Ace has made a little bit of progress to the base, and I'll show you guys that in just a second, but I decided to spend some time this morning just dedicating myself to a scouting run. And uh, yeah, I've come across this base here. I'm sure you guys all know where this one is. It's like a little hole in the roof, a little booty crack that, you know, people love to build in there. I've built in it a few times as well. Uh, so Ace is currently just coming over with some stuff so we can raid it, because we think we can drop the cliff plat pretty easily. As you can see, the junction boxes are exposed. Uh, so we should be able to get everything underneath. And then, yeah, we'll be able to see the defenses a little higher up. Hopefully they haven't built it too well, and hopefully it's fat. We could really do with a nice raid. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there's a couple of other bases I've found along the way. So, you know, if this one doesn't work out, we've always got another few we can go to. I'm just going to sit here and wait for Ace, taking his absolute time. Man is not in a rush at all. Oh, to the left a tiny bit. Oh, yeah, I got yeah, it. it's gone. Nice. It's so much easier with two people. Oh, there's another one inside. But we can see for the platform underneath. Oh, that was really close. Up a little bit more. Like the tiniest amount. Uh, down a bit. The thing is, I'm like lagging all over the place. Yeah. We'll get the PT. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got it. Nice. Yeah, I think if we get this generator, it should get all the turrets on the outside here. Oh, they built this lines. so badly. Oh my days. Oh, 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 through the, through the foundation. That's crazy. <laughs> I love getting shot through the cliff platform. What is that turret? Oh my god, man. This is like the freest raid I think I've ever seen. He's got a replicator, what the hell? I know, this is like the fattest base for one turret. <laughs> I think if I stand on this... Yeah, I might be able to... Get a rocket up there. I think I can get the... the outlet. This like is not too good with his outlets, is he? No, yeah, he needs a crash course on that. Okay, you need to move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie to you. I'll keep it Not straight. even gonna cap. <laughs> That get close? Uh, you're hitting the parasaur. Oh, that was pretty close. Try again. I think you need to go down a bit. Okay, up. I can't even see where I'm shooting. It's like. Oh, I'm you're so shooting. close. Like. To the left more. Oh, no, it's hitting the vault. Yeah, I'm just jump shooting, so. Yeah. One will surely hit eventually. Go uh, on. Try moving forward a little bit, so you aren't hitting the vault. Mm. Oh, that was close. That the arrow was literally sticking into the outlet, and it didn't break. Right, I'm gonna shoot a rocket up there and see how it goes. Watch out! <laughs> <laughs> I think you actually got it. It's not broken. Oh no. I'll take a couple. 
That looks damaged, maybe? Yeah, you got it. Oh, well, that's easy. Yeah, that was literally the only turret. And it had 76 bullets in it. You could have probably psyched it, almost. Almost. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Maybe there's more than one Jesus. turret. Jesus. <laughs> Where's yeah, that one at? Turret. <laughs> oh, there's four turrets uh, there. two at the back. He's built the inside of this quite nicely, like with that one triangle ceiling opening. I kind of like that design. Although he's an absolute idiot builder. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't praise that he's building in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> one turret on the very entrance. This is going to be the only raid we get as well, because we're going to go back to a raided base. Maybe, maybe. Maybe we should just put it off and, like, keep raiding other things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ignore the problem. <laughs> be little hermits. We'll carry the... We'll live in our own world. Our, uh, we'll live in the upload. Ooh. You're missing your legs, mate. No, I'm not. This is glitched. Oh. Yeah, I'm ready. Three, Three. two, one, go! Oh, oh, at least you made it. I made it. Chilling? How's your flag chilling, man? I got deleted. <laughs> yeah, I think you tanked most of the shots for me, honestly. I think I got them all. Are you ready? The Ready. fattest bag in the world. Oh, oh my days. Oh, that pace is what we need. Those turtles are all right. <laughs> I do like some turtles, too. That's all I can say. I should just, first of all, drop this like, one door frame so that everything falls down. Oh, that does it, too. Way ahead of you. <laughs> you claim a vault. Are you going to go left or right? I'm feeling, get the the, other one. I'm feeling the right. Can I go left? Oh. 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 Oh, mine's looking a bit bare. Yeah, mine's. Oh! Oh, it's come good! It's come oh. good! Oh, Look at the bottom of that. Oh. Tech generator, <laughs> tech replicator. That could not oh. have come at a more perfect time for us. I'm not even going to lie to you. That is nice. Oh, that is amazing. And there's a PT in there for me. <laughs> you happy about that one, aren't you? Uh, I wonder what he was like prefabbing for. Probably He's got heavies better, and stuff. A better base, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Which vaults are you feeling? Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take left. Oh, yeah, mine's not looking too good. Yeah, neither. Ah, uh, well. Bit of AIB in there. Like 1k. So when we got back to our base after that raid, somebody was attempting to raid us, and AC actually managed to run their fob outside with one of our stegos. I uh, wasn't there to get that footage, but as you can see, I did get clapped up by him. Didn't take us too long to get them out of here. Um, as you can see, they tried walking dinos up to our wall, and we adjusted our turrets after this because most of them were on only survivors, and that was definitely a big flaw, uh, but we did fix that pretty quickly after this raid attempt. Alright, we've successfully pushed the people trying to raid us back, and for added measure, we've actually added quite a bit of spam to the entrance as well. We're not taking any chances here. It was about time we did it, and we're not exactly short on metal or cementing paste. We're probably going to add quite a bit more, and I also plan to craft a tower pretty much just there in the river. Just out of range of the cave's 6x damage resistance. Because, yeah, I think a turret outside will definitely slow them down when they're trying to raid us. It's not going to stop them, and it's not going to make them quit and leave. But, you know, it's definitely going to make it a little bit easier for us to defend. Ace is going to be covering most of the night's offline timer tonight, so I probably plan to head to sleep in about 3 or 4 hours. Before that though, we're going to increase the defenses on the base, and we might even go on a few raids as well. I'm about to engage in a bit of a trade here. I've got 10k ARB on me, and hopefully we're going to trade this for a trike. I say hopefully because there are some pr there's a pretty big amount of scammers on the GB7X servers at the moment. I'm seeing a lot of people getting scammed, so I think Ace is hiding in a bush somewhere nearby, just in case things go south. 
he'll be my backup. Um, but yeah, hopefully it'll all go well. I don't see why it wouldn't. You've got to have a bit of faith. Watch him try and kill you. He's not. He looks like a trustworthy guy. Did he drop it yet? No. What is he doing? Oh, he's dropping it. Let me assess the situation. 4.1, baby trike. Yep, that's looking good. Getting the male trike from this trade was really nice, but it still meant we had to go to the lunar biome to tame a female, and I really didn't want to do that. Do you feel like going to lunar biome? No. Fuckland's <laughs> desperate here. I really don't want to go. <laughs> How about this? Bowler fight. First person to get bowled more than three times has to go and tame trikes. First person bowled goes and tame trikes. It's not started yet, I need to get bowlers. I've only got nine, so. Make nine, then lock them. Yeah, I've got nine as well. Ooh! Oh. Ooh! Oh, it's Ooh. getting intense. Oh, I, can't, I can't keep quiet about that one. That was good. That was close. <laughs> Oh Ooh. no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, oops! <laughs> don't, don't cry. <laughs> How did I miss that trap? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if nets and bowlers stack. Oh yep, they do. <laughs> Cheers for that. <laughs> <laughs> you got it all going on. You're immobilized. <laughs> we'll have fun in the lunar biome, big fella. Whoa! <laughs> Put that one away. Hey. Alright, I'm gonna go have a shower and then I'll tame some tracks. You're gonna wipe the sweat off your head after that bowl fight. Do I look attractive? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just look me somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with like. <laughs> Mine's on, that's the same. <laughs> I mean, with like all these fishnets on, you know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> I, just, I wasn't just asking out of the blue. <laughs> it felt very authentic. <laughs> yeah, I was just asking because I, I needed to know. <laughs> You're about to go for a shower. Am I enough? Like, oh, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're slacking right now. I'll be back in like 10 minutes. Maybe. 10, okay, I'm gonna go have a shower. Or oh, have I already had a shower tonight? Wait, you're gonna have one as well? <laughs> well, you got a five minute <laughs> offline time. Well, the base is gone then. Uh, <laughs> the Highlands Cave can't survive longer than 10 nah, minutes. Nah, I'm gonna stream logs, I'll check it in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> That's dedication to this cave right there. Turns out there was actually a pretty decent base in the lava cave next to our Highlands Cave, so we decided to get a fob together, and yeah, we did our best to raid it. The problem was, our Stegos only had primitive saddles and there were a lot of tech turrets, uh, so it was definitely going to be a difficult raid from the start. We gave it our best shot though. I can already tell I've forgotten, like, probably should have got meat and stuff. As a matter of fact, we are actually made of meat. So mm. if things get down to it, true, true. you can sacrifice yourself to the greater <laughs> good. I can. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> I'll make some good food for the day, Don. You're just a little bit too important to... Yeah. I'm... Oh my best player on these servers. God, there is so many bad things out here. Yeah, that's what I was running for my life. That's a lot of meat though. That's what I see. That's the difference between me and you. You've got the entrepreneur mind. <laughs> you see an opportunity. <laughs> All I that's see an opportunity. is a problem. Easy struggle. <laughs> <laughs> I do not have a kit, by the way. I'm living oh, in poverty. Glad we've come prepared then. Yep. Jesus, where are you going? Nowhere. Oh, what's that doing? Mm. It's dead. Nah, it's chilling. It's vibing. <laughs> it's just like, it's like wandering or something. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for it to lay and then it just goes flying in there. Oh, we've soaked even more. Yeah, this is like next to almost empty in space. Don't say it like that, come on now. <laughs> the I pace mean, is fat, the ammo <laughs> Yeah, is the, the empty. ammo is empty. Everything else is full. We're actually getting there. Yeah, we haven't even got to the main wall yet, man. <laughs> So, whilst we were soaking, unfortunately we did in fact come across somebody using aimbot and they made our life really difficult as you're about to see. Dude on the PT's back again, he's like, he's got his eyes on us. He's lurking. That looks like a speed PT, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that was a bit fast.
Maybe just stay for a little bit longer and put some armor on your Wallace. Alright. Like, that's definitely a speed PT. He just jumped off. Where are we going about AM? Well, I'd run in the cave, in the cave, in the cave. Get in the cave. I'm in the cave. Ah. Uh, were you getting behind stuff? Were you getting shot He's, at? Yeah, he just I only tapped my head. Fuck. Let's record. <laughs> record. I'm throwing everything out. <laughs> just need to hide behind our teams. As soon as I saw him jump off his PT that was in the air, I knew what was coming. <laughs> <laughs> you good? Yeah. It's hitting the Stego guy, he's trying to shoot me. It's just shotgunning, it's fine. He's not doing much damage. Oh, that is doing a lot of damage. Oh, this thing is yeah. gonna die. Oh, he's shooting me through the legs. Oh, man. I thought that when you're on that thing, you oh, can get shot. Oh, my God. Nice, man. That's the Windows 10 experience. I absolutely hate cheaters so much. Mm. <sighs> yeah, so unfortunately, the aimbotter did in fact take all of our stuff, but it wasn't all bad um, because while he was killing us, turns out their tech generator actually ran out of elements, so all of their tech turrets went offline. It was pretty crazy. It was happening just as we were raiding it, and yeah, we were pretty excited about that. That just went down. Bro, that, that tech turret was up not long ago. Yeah, I can see in there all that. They're actually down. Are they actually down? They've run out of early on their generator <laughs> as we're raiding you their need base. To, you need to soak like, quick as possible. Yeah, I know. You need UD buff again. Didn't work. <sighs> I don't know why you throw from so far away. You can get all the way up there. Let's go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go. I have cry timer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, I was actually about to say I'm stuck. Uh oh. Do you have a hatchet or anything to pickaxe this body? Yeah. I can't reach it though. Oh, I've done myself a mischief here and accidentally pressed C. <laughs> I'm going. Oh, I've made it over as well. Go! Is it? Okay, we can chill like back a little bit. I think when we get back, and then before we make the big run again, overtaking lane. Holy, it's going to be close. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I need you. I'm taken. I'm taken. I got oh that. yeah, you did. Oh, we're chill when we're behind here. Oh, I don't know about chill. Nah, we're chill. I'm out of stamina. That's embarrassing. <laughs> We've done it. You've pulled the body side storm. You. You're out of stamina. Yeah. You're about to have a snooze. Nah, no, you're not wrong. I wish I brought a spyglass. That's right, I can. I've got really good vision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> hey, some turrets are still up there. Yeah, it's gonna be. I think we should yeah. be able to run back there. It's a decent amount of loadout, mannequins. Kill this bob. Oh, you got a wyvern on him. DSA lightning wyvern. Oh, it's no. Quick to take that one from you. Yeah. Oh, he's got flak BBs. Does he actually? Yeah! He's got five BPs. Black BPs! Let's go! Oh, they better be in here, not in his upper lane. Oh, I'm holding okay, a hostage. stand back. I'm gonna... Stand back. Bring these beds. Let's just stand back, team. Oh, lucky that wasn't LOSing anything. 6x. I want some Oh, B. God. This isn't looking oh, good. God. Oh, that is a nice gauntlet, but it's not crafted by him. C4. No detonator. Ooh, nice, a nice raised up magma. Where's this fabricator? Okay, so it's blown, it's like empty. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, heaps of brews, actually so many brews in this fridge. Yeah. 3,000 brews. Is there anything in here that like stops the heat? Oh wait, that's a lot of spark powder. Have a look at these chem benches. Oh, that's actually good. We were running out of spark powder. Um, I hate to say it. Oh. Oh, oh, check this one, check this one. Shiny. Look at that element. Oh, element metal. No BPs so. though. Yeah, he's definitely just uploaded them. It's actually a good amount of metal in ARB trade. Yeah. I mean, what did we actually lose? We just lost time. Time is spent doing what? Valuable. <laughs> 
I reckon it might be worth. means nothing to us. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even know what day it is. If I'm being uh, yeah. I think it's Monday, isn't it? I think so. Tuesday. Oh, it's Tuesday. Oh, 13 yeah, minutes no, off. Yeah, it just Tuesday. Yeah. I reckon we go and raid that other base on Extinction I saw. Like, with well, the saddle. Oh, let's focus on getting out of here a lot. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> one, one thing at a time. <laughs> I might need some help. You know what they've got? They've got a Reaper. You know how I know? Because they've got Aberration stuff. So they started on Aberration. Oh, you actually could be onto something. Oh, man. I just realized, how do we actually get out of here? What do you mean? Like, we have to jump off the Stego to get through the little hole. I mean, it did make sense, don't you think? Chugged it all on a Reaper. Yeah. This is like copium to the max, right? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's, there's going to be a Reaper, I swear. There's going to be a Reaper. Getting out from the raid was going to be a lot trickier than coming in. Uh, we basically used all of our Stego's health, so I decided to go pretty much on a bit of a suicide mission. And uh, yeah, I just left all the loot with Ace. A lot of the turrets were still online, so it was definitely a tricky situation. Even if you like get die on top of the turrets or something. The issue think... is you won't have mate boost and you won't have UD buff and you, you're half health already. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for spelling that out to me. <laughs> now that I know every way I can die. Yeah, See okay. how I actually die. Oh, they soaked. No way they're soaked. No way they soak. At 100 no, HP. <laughs> no way, man. <laughs> you're having me on. What is that luck? Wait, you're just the luckiest person, man. You need to go and check that. Like, come yeah, on, me. Out of well, <laughs> I'm not checking oh, it with okay. mine, mate. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were like, I should run down here. <laughs> just get your stego out. Okay. See. Oh yeah. All right. Well, I now we know. Save some. Here is a safe zone. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah, they're not gentle. Eventually, I went back to base, got another stego, and I decided to raid it from the outside. And yeah, that was actually about it. It was pretty easy after that. Just rocket run to the main tower and all the turrets went down. Got a pretty decent amount of ammo from it as well, so that was a bonus. What are you gonna do? I've been training against Vitality. Oh. Yo, you got this. He's back up to his main wing. He's got his nets out of the dub. I'm the distraction here. Oh, sorry, mate. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, all good. You got somebody there. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I care about. All right, things are starting to look up, and I say that in the most optimistic way because Ace and I are so tired right now. It's gotten to the point where we're taking turns having half an hour naps. It's pretty desperate. Um, we're both completely shattered trying to keep this base location going. I set up a tower outside and I even placed some more spam just to give us some more time and delay our raiders just a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, thanks to that element from the lava cave, we've finally got everything for a transmitter and we're actually using the replicator. Finally convinced Ace to let me do it. <laughs> it's so nice for crafting ARB, I don't know how anyone does it otherwise. Doing it with fabricators is just an absolute joke. <laughs> Takes forever. Uh, but yeah, got a few things I need to do today. Most likely gonna grab another trike because we're still looking for a female to breed up with that one. And we're trying to get a good health stat on a female Stego so we can improve the line. Because we're up to 7.6k HP, we just don't have it on a female. So we're working hard on that as well, but I think before any of that, I'm probably going to go and scout Extinction for more bases to raid. We haven't done too much raiding this wipe, and I've got a really decent Stego saddle, so why not, honestly? I spent some time scouting for some bases to raid on Extinction. Gave up pretty quickly though, because there wasn't too many around. On the GB7X servers, there was actually a Golem event, which basically is... It's an event that the admins run, and you can win $15 store credit for being the last person standing in a box full of rock golems. It's a pretty fun event, and AC and I decided to give it a go. We really needed some BPs, and the easiest way to do that is buying them through store credit. So we went into this event as competitive as possible to try and win that store credit. I'm here to make enemies, not friends. I'm here to play some serious rock golem dodgeball. You gotta take out the weaklings. Punch on has started. All hell is breaking loose. <laughs> I really need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> he said three times. <laughs> he said like three times. Like, I need to poo. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, he's feeling it. You can already tell. Oh, and it's beginning.
It's like me and three other people. If you're in that back corner, I don't think they can even reach you. Oh. Oh. I think I did it. I'm the last one. I'm the last one. No way. I've actually just won an event. What the hell? 15 oh, like, store credit. That's fake. <laughs> Let's go. You can buy yourself, boss. Uh, like I'm on Ascension. I'd rather get BPs first. Since I won that Rock Golem event on Ragnarok One, I basically got about fifteen dollars in store credit, and I plan to spend that on getting a full flak set and maybe some weapon BPs as well. Like I'm thinking the shotgun and the fabby, just to make life a little bit easier for Ace and I. Um, it's going to cost quite a bit of hide though, so I am currently taming some sheep because I think the idea is we can breed these in our base and then just kill them for hide. It's a little bit gruesome, but I think it's the best way to do it. If we use a chainsaw, we should be able to get a decent bit of farm. And uh, yeah, these guys are super easy to breed. I think things are coming across quite nicely. We actually managed to craft up quite a bit of flak. I think we got about 100 of each piece. So yeah, we're definitely set for the next few raid defenses. Um, definitely going to try not to die with those. I think Ace is also crafting up some fabies for us as well, which is nice. And uh, yeah, overall, got some Stego Saddles as well. Things are going quite well. I'm just busy breeding up the Stegos, but I think I will have to go and get the trikes done. I've been putting it off for so long. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we really just need to knuckle down and get that over with. Got some tech turrets as well. Ace actually got the boss. I'm still level 105, so I've got some catch ups to do. Uh, but yeah, we're going to probably cap all the turrets today. Maybe not the tech turrets because element is quite difficult to get on Ragnarok, uh, but the heavies for sure. I'm feeling quite good about it. It's going to be so nice not dying to people because we've actually got good kits now. It's honestly been hell just walking around in Prim Flak, getting one tapped by everyone, and now we're going to actually stand a fighting chance. So yeah, I'm super excited for that. Going to be able to get into some proper PvP now. And yeah, even our beard production is going quite well. That's starting to build up. So it actually turns out somebody is trying to rebuild the artifact cave above our base. And yeah, Ace and I, we're not having that. We're gonna take care of him as fast as possible. Hopefully with this new flak, it should be fairly easy. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm just reloading rocket launcher. You can uh, feel free to go first if you like. <laughs> oh, cheers, mate. No worries. All right. Yeah, I dropped this side. Okay, I'll okay. roll it down then. Let's get these jennies. I'm gonna go get my kid first. Yeah, Jenny's down and I've killed him. If you want to get that bed. Okay. Nice. Braid has been secured. I you get all my stuff. Good flak OP. It actually oh, is. They really took no damage. Yeah. <laughs> there are so many bags here. Holy. How much ammo for heavy? Mm -hmm. Looking at. Oh, they might be dono bobs. <laughs> they might be. They... Nothing back here. It's just a bit odd. Oh, there's a nice um, what's the name? Chainsaw BP for our hide requirements. Oh, they've got 49 HP and stegos. That's like five more than we do. Yeah, I don't know I if don't you've know seen these. Are. They're in this fridge here. Oh, in the fridge. Yeah. Oh, we got a female take trike as well. I don't have to tame any more female trikes. Ooh. Yeah. Another magma. Oh, they've got so many female trikes. Oh, so much cooked prime meat, man. We're gonna have unlimited, shall I say? Yeah, uh, it's gonna be. I nice. just got twenty three k prime meat cooked. Not long after that raid, we actually went into another one. I'm not gonna show too much footage of it though, because we got aimbotted once again. There was another tribe that counted us while we were raiding this extinction rat hole. And uh, yeah, it was pretty clear they were cheating as well. Cheating is definitely a problem on unofficial servers and somebody definitely has to do something about it, but it, it is what it is. Would have been a pretty good raid, but unfortunately we didn't get anything out of it. I had a lot of fun rocket running the base though. Um, so I'll show you guys a bit of footage of that. Uh, but yeah, it was pretty much just a disappointing raid. Just 
I think I definitely want to start organizing the base. Ace has just gone offline for a little bit. I'm not too sure when he'll be back. But while he's gone, I just want to sort of sort this mess out. I really hate the design of the crafting area and I just, it sucks having all these teams everywhere. We've got such a big cave and we've got so much space. And uh, yeah, we're not really using it that properly. So I might focus on that today. I apologize if that's not very entertaining. It's just one of those things that needs to get done, especially when you're playing a competitive arc wipe. It takes forever to find what I need uh, when I'm in a PvP situation. I've got to rummage through all the different loadout mannequins and vaults. It's such a pain. So yeah, organizing it is definitely the way to go. For some reason, I can't actually use my tech replicator though. Not too sure why this is happening. Um, if any of you guys know, let me know in the comment section. I've done everything. I've reconnected, restarted my game, uh, killed myself. I've went into single player and I loaded up all my engrams and yeah, nothing seems to be working for some reason. My character might just be bugged or I don't know, maybe it's something to do with the server. But we're doing it the primitive way. I'm crafting everything in a smithy and it's going to take me all year. <laughs> uh, but we'll get there. I really just want to cryo everything as well and reorganize where that's going because walking through here is starting to become a bit of a pain. So this is sort of what I'm working with. It's not a crazy difference to what we had before, but it is nice and metal and not the ugly wood we were used to seeing. We're only going two levels for now. I guess we can also add a third down the line if we need more space. We still wanted to be able to throw out the bigger teams like Golems, Karchars and Gigas, so we're just going for this height at the moment. Should give us enough space for everything and I'm going to organize it a little better as well. I think it's time for me to start working on the crafting station. I'm not going to do anything too crazy organized, like I'm not going to build it into the floor. But I will make it look just a little bit nicer. And uh, yeah, that shouldn't take me too long. Okay, so I can confidently say the crafting station has been completed. And yeah, it's pretty ugly, I won't lie. Ace is probably going to come on and uh, scream at me or something. <laughs> I reckon he'll take over and he'll finish it for me, but uh... Yeah, I've just basically moved it from one side to the other. It's looking a little bit more neat and we've got a cryo fridge storage area in the bottom here. I'm happy with it at least and uh, yeah, I think it'll do the trick for now. The servers are definitely losing pop, I'll show you guys at the moment. We've not got too many people playing anymore um, just because we're, we're getting further and further into the wipe. But yeah, as you can see, highest pop's got 14 people and lowest pop's got 1. So looking for raids has been quite the challenge, but I'm not going to let it stop me. I'm going to kit up, I'm going to get a pretty fat kit going honestly, and I'm going to upload myself. Then I'm going to head to sleep. I'm going to set myself up with a pretty fat kit, and then yeah, I'm just going to spend like all of tomorrow looking for bases to raid. Like I'll get a fob down, I'll get C4, rocket spear, pretty much everything I need. And yeah, I'm just going to search and find whatever base I can. Because, yeah, I'd love to keep the series going, and I'd love to... Well, I say series, I'd love to keep the video going, and I'd love to keep raiding. So, I know I said I was going to go on one more raid to end the video. Unfortunately, AC and I can't really find anything else, and the things that we can find are just far too big for us to raid as a duo. So, I'm probably going to end this video here. It's definitely been well over 100 days. Um, we're going on probably like 120 days. Uh, we've been pretty committed to living in the Highlands Cave, and we've not been raided yet. I'm sure as soon as we stop recording though, we will be. It's a pretty awful cave and we've been doing our best sort of scheduling our offline timers to sort of match up, just to make sure we aren't leaving the base undefended. It's really the only way it can be done. I don't recommend living there unless you're committed to living in that cave full time. I think I played something like 30 something hours on that first wipe and AC played just as much time. Um, it, was, it was such a struggle, I won't lie. You, you won't see me living in there again. So, at the end of the day, I don't recommend it. We got fobbed about 10 to 20 times. I can't remember the exact amount. I'd have to go back through the editing. Um, and yeah, every single one failed, but the only reason they did fail was because we were online and we weren't letting anyone in. It's just sheer determination that kept that base alive um, and a lot of luck because, yeah, I'm sure if somebody was committed to raiding it, they would have had a pretty good chance at doing it. It's just not very secure and it's not very safe. And, you know, when you're playing in a small tribe like a duo, it's not economically viable. Um, so, yeah, not, not an amazing place to live. I'm just showing you guys some PvP footage I got as well at the end of the wipe. I just started having some fun and fighting some guys with fabbies. Uh, so that's what you're seeing right now. But yeah, overall I had a really good time filming this video. It's been like weeks and weeks in the process, so if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. Would really mean the world to me. 
Um, as I said, going for 100,000 subscribers, so any help towards that would be amazingly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for waiting on me. I know this video took a while to get out, but you guys really are the best community anyone could ask for. You're incredibly supportive of all the videos I put out, and yeah, I can't thank you guys enough for that. So let me know what you thought of this 100 days video. I hope you've had an amazing day, and I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one.